A lot of people look at my hip hop photography who don't know me and don't know that I shot those pictures and they just look at, they look at me and they look at a picture of NWA and go, you shot that? And I go, yeah, and this and that. And they're looking at me because I don't really look like an archetypal hip hop photographer. And I think it's kind of amazing. I've had it happen many times. I don't usually plan my pictures and my ideas come from the collaboration between me and the subject because I'm a portrait photographer, so therefore what I'm trying to do is capture that moment, that person at that particular moment in time. So usually my favorite way to take pictures is, you know, I have somebody come to my studio and we walk around in the neighborhood and find a stoop that we like and we sit and chat and I take pictures or I go to even better to where they come from and, you know, look at the surroundings and try and capture that. I mean, I really like the street portraits and the East LA gangs and the, you know, the go hard boys and just going into somewhere that is different and unusual for me, somewhere that I've got no idea what's going to happen. And you meet people and you talk to them and they show you things, they show you things in their lives, they reveal things. I think, you know, just popping into people's lives and having them show you things is incredible. And then the ability to be able to show it to that to other people is also an amazing thing. Julie Graham has been a friend of mine since the 90s when she had a company called Retina that syndicated rock and roll uh, photographs. And she came to my house and dragged a dusty box out of the basement in which were all these negatives, photos I'd taken in the UK during the punk era. And she just went through them and she just seemed to, she was like, JB, do you realize you have Steve Jones playing with The Clash, you know, on stage with Jimmy Percy. And I was like, no, I forgot. So she delved in my archive and kind of brought up a lot of things that I'd sort of forgotten about. That was my craft, was going in the dark room and making prints. And I would go, spend hours in the dark room. I would go in with a boom box or, you know, later years, obviously, just my phone and some music and some tea and cookies and I'd be in there for like seven hours printing away and that was craft. But I think maybe the craft has turned into editing now and the edit is very important and I think it's a very underestimated skill. It's funny when I look at a photo like the twins or you know Weller Townsend, those are just early photos and then I look at a shot I just did for Dior on the streets of London. It hasn't changed that much. I mean, I'm still kind of following my path in a way. You know, I feel like I have more confidence now and obviously working with digital has made things a lot easier. So I don't know if my style has really changed that much. I mean, I think I might've got better at getting people to trust me. And I, like I say, I'm definitely you know, at this point, a little more confident in what I'm doing and figuring out what's a good photo, what's a bad photo and so forth. But I don't think it's radically changed. Well, I guess the one thing is that I'm not so bothered about what other people are doing. It's like being a horse at a horse race. There's all the prep, you know, you get ready for the race, you've got your seamless set up, you've got your light and you're waiting and you're waiting and then boom, the gate opens. And I know I've got five minutes and I know I have to get that picture. So it's, I don't really prep, but I guess I've been prepping for 40 years because I've got to the stage where I'm probably a little more confident now that I can actually do it. You know, if you are an artist, you're basically, your whole life is about being an artist, following your passion, doing what you love. Artists never retire. Well, I'm never going to retire. Why? Because my passion in life is taking photos. And there's no need to retire. Why retire from something that you love doing?